Hello there, my name is Marion Jensen um, and I am currently under quarantine because of the coronavirus. Um, what quarantine means is that I am avoiding uh, other people so that I don't get sick and so that I don't get them sick. So um, I thought since I'm not really doing anything right now, I would uh, ask some of my readers that were out there if they had any questions for me. Um, I wrote a couple books, um, Almost Super and Searching for Super, um, and thought I'd answer any questions that they may have about them. And that would give you guys something to do and it would give me something to do. Um, so anyway, that's, that's why I'm here. Um, first of all though, since you might be under quarantine too, or rather, social distancing that's that's what this hat is for um this hat has some little tangles um and so when people see that they they think i'm a little strange and so they don't talk to me and keep their distance so i'm going to keep this hat on until until all this blows over um but the best thing you can do um is uh before we get started about the book stuff is what google said there's five things um first of all your hands wash them often. Your elbow, cough into it. Although I think they meant the elbow pit because the elbow's right here and you want to cough into your elbow pit. Your face, don't touch it. Your feet, stay more than three feet apart. And if you feel sick, then stay home. Um, so hands, elbow, face, feet, feel. And you can remember that because that spells hef. Okay. Um, let's get to the questions. So I had a couple questions come to me from uh, a couple schools around the country. Um, some of them uh, sent me questions. Other ones are reading my book for One School, One Book. Um, but I wanted to do a quick shout out to um, Mr. Hellner at Hoppen Elementary School in Three Rivers, Michigan. Um, Ms. Coltvet in West Bay Elementary in Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, Ms. Wood from Davis County School District in Utah, Miss Wengert in Philadelphia, Miss Reed, Anderson Elementary in Illinois, Miss Hendrickson, Norman County West Elementary in Minnesota, and Miss Graham at Crossville Elementary School just north of Alberta, Canada. So that's where these questions came from, or those are some of the folks that are reading, reading my book. So shout out to, to everybody. All right, first of all, uh, first question, um, how did you write such a long book? Um, actually the book's not too long. Sometimes it looks long if, if you like stack it up, but, um, it's only about 50,000 words. So if you read one word every second, it takes you about 50,000 seconds. So it was fun. All right. Um, somebody else writes, what hobbies do you have? So I have some other hobbies. I like to run. Um, I like to play board games and That that's it. Those two, I guess that's it. Um, all right. Uh, somebody else wrote and said, "Are you working on a third book in this series?" Um, I actually have some ideas on a third book. Um, haven't haven't started writing it yet. Um, but if my publisher wants me to, I'm going to start writing it. Uh, Rafter and Benny Juanita, they've still got some adventures left in them. All right. Um, we have, a, we have a question here from somebody in the third grade. Why did you make Johnson's the bad guy? So that's a great question. Um, whenever you pick a name for the bad guy, you don't want it to be somebody that you might know. So I tried to come up with a name that I'd never heard of before. Um, my last name's Jensen. So I thought, hey, I should end in son, S-O-N. Um, and so then I tried to think of a name that I'd never heard of before. So I just made one up, John. John's son. So that's how I came up with it because I figured there's nobody really named Johnson. So no one would be sad if if that was their name. So that's how I came up with that. Um, someone from uh, fourth grade at Hoppen Elementary School said, what inspired you to become a writer and how long did it take to write the almost super book? I don't know what inspired me to be a writer. I've always wanted to be a writer um, ever since I was little used to type on a typewriter uh, before I could even spell right. Um, 
it did take me a while to write Almost Super, about two years. But I actually wrote the whole book in about three or four months. And then it took me um, another year and a half to edit the book, to go back and fix all the mistakes. So if you ever write something and then you go back and read it and you think, oh, that's no good. Yeah, that's just how it works. Just go back and fix it and make it better. All right. Um, somebody wrote and said, how did you come up with the useless superpowers? Um, those are actually pretty hard to find just the right level of useless because some superpowers, even though they might seem useless, could actually be pretty useful. Um, I think my favorite uh, superpower, useless superpower, is Benny's. Um, if you've read the book, he can turn his belly button from an innie to an Audi. And that's that's just amazing. I, I would love that superpower. All right, and then I've got one last question from Twitter. This is from C. Alexson, and he says, what is your favorite cheese? And that would have to be Havarti, just because it's so fun to say. Havarti, that, that's just fun. Um, and then the other question that he asked was, what superpower would you like to get on February 29th at 423. Um, man, I don't know. There's quite a few of those useless superpowers. The one that always made me laugh was the the one, the, the guy that could grow a mustache on his left shin. I know that's not very useful, but that'd still be pretty cool, at least during the summer when people could see it. You could see your mustache. So, all right, that's it from me. Um, I'm, I'm wearing my, my social distancing hat so that nobody talks to me. I'm hanging out. I hope you're hanging out, staying safe. Remember to wash those hands, cough into your elbow, stay home, do what your parents say, and then wash your hands again. All right. Hopefully we're going to have more of these. We've got some other authors. Um, if you'd like to, to go read their uh, or to see their questions or ask them a question, um, you can go to Twitter and just do a search for artist chat. It's all one word and ask them some questions. Maybe you'll see somebody that you've actually read their book before and you can ask them questions and they'll answer it. Stay safe, wash your hands, bye.